First Corinthians 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Two, realm, two areas of your life that are affected by these things. Your thoughts and your language. You are now a son. 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 You are now a and the chatter is same one. I no longer speak like and a child. I don't think like a child. When I go before God, Baba, I go as a son. Father, we are now doing this. And this. Sons are given responsibility. Adam was asked to name all the animals in the, in, in the, in the garden. And he was doing it one by one. Sons, they can do things. Sons can carry responsibility. Sons can bring order in the kingdom. Sons can continue as good as God is doing it. So when you go around doing good, what Jesus was doing, he was showing us how to walk, how to move like sons, how to put order in the kingdom of the Father. When there is sickness in the kingdom, it's disorder. When there is lack in the kingdom of God, it's disorder. Because God has never created it like that. He has blessed the kingdom with everything. He has blessed the kingdom with wholeness and fullness of life. And now you go around doing good. You are bringing order like sons. Huh? Like sons. Praise the Lord. Sons, they don't complain. Sons, they don't run away until they are, unless they are not aware of their identity. Lack of knowledge is a killer. Someone say, I don't want to die. I don't want to die of poverty. I don't want to die of lack. I don't want to die of BP. Huh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you see your position? Some of you, you are sons, and you are approaching God with childish mind and childish language. Threatening God. If you do not give me bread, I will not bath. <laughs> For us to win, so that you bat, we have to give you bread and bat. things away from me. I'm now batting because I bread or no bread, I will bat. I may give her. Bread I or no it should be it's a responsibility. We don't give a way of responsibility. As we should do as sons in the house of our father. Come and Praise God. Amen. We come to a position. Where we understand that we are the owners of this house. We belong to the house of God. And when we serve in the house of God, we are simply doing what we are supposed to be doing. <laughs> if you go to Luke 17, it tells you of her, Father, they, they went to Jesus and said, Teach us how can we grow our faith? And he was teaching them, live like, the owner, like servants. They do, they don't ask for a favor. They say we are done what we are supposed to have done. It's just a mentality. Praise God. 
So the devil is understanding that the father has presented the son and he knew what the son was expected to be doing. He knew the authority the son carries. And he said, if you are the son, if you really, if you really say you are the son, show me and I know what sons ought to be doing. Turn the stone to become bread. Hey. Say, say to your neighbor, that's your realm. Say to your neighbor, that's your dimension. Of correcting errors in the kingdom, in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Commanding power, commanding authority. So when Jesus was released to them, they listened to him. And they said, This one is different from others who are teaching the word. For his word carries authority. Sons, they have authority. They don't beg for water in their father's house. They, they don't fast to get a quarter bread in the morning for breakfast. They break fast by taking all the bread in the bread bin. And no one who asked them. Why are you putting butter on that bread? You they have authority over things that are in their father's house. Jesus said healing is the children's bread. Good things are children's bread. You have access and rights to every good thing. As a son of God, you can take what you want. You can butter it side by side. You can put butter, you can put it with margarine, you can put it oil, you can put it sun jam one. No one will ask me, I'm in my father's house. 